Hello there. there. I'm Mother. And I'm Vanessa. And we are late to the party on to episode two of Willow. Hell of a bombshell dropped at the end of the first episode. Yes. Oh, Laura Dannon is a muffin baker. Muffins, muffins. Has been hiding underneath their noses the entire time. Even she didn't know that she was so special. That's very true. And I knew there was something going on with her when she like broke away through the barrier because I feel right. like no normal person could do that. So I was like, hmm, interesting that she was able to do that. And now we know. And She's Alora Dannon. Alora Dannon has always had that connection with certain people. She had a connection with Willow. She had a connection with his family. Yes. She had a connection with Mad Mardigan to the point where he completely changed his character to yes. protect that baby. It even ended up having a little bit of an effect on Sorsha yeah. back in the day. So now we know why Eric was so drawn to her. There's just a power that, that uh, emits sense. from Alora Dannon. And it, once again, I... First thing I said was, I like her. Like, I like her delivery. I like this girl. Like, out of all of them, for some reason, I liked her more. And now I know why, because she's a Laura Denon, you know? Yeah, I'm excited to see and hear, like, what happened, you know, from when she was a baby and everything ended in Willow. Right. Um, and then I'm interested to see what happened to, like, Finn Rizal, like, they put the barrier, but it's like, and sure. they said that all the sorcerers are gone except for, you know, Willow is still there. So it's like, what happened to them too? Sure. There's a lot that we need to get into. <sighs> yes. Episode two probably won't do much better. They're going to just keep building up more story that we need to dive into for the rest of the season. But that's why they give us two episodes right off the bat. But yeah. guys, if you want to check out our full episode, watch alongs to episode two and episode one, it's available on our Patreon. And if you've not subscribed, click the subscribe subscribe button so you know when we drop episodes or do any other things on the channel <laughs> we do have a lot going on right now we're gonna have a lot more coming up especially once we hit the new year so subscribe if you have not only 20 percent of you guys that watch this channel are subscribed so check to see if you are but let's get do into it. episode two of willow now, now. The books already open oh, yeah. well the story has already begun no need to open it up again. The High Aldwin. Did Willow become the High Aldwin? Ah, Willow! We're going back. It's what will happen Look at if that. we don't change things. Goatee. I know, it's all right? braided. But she's still a child. A child of immense power. Yeah. You've seen it. It'll fade like all things do without proper nourishment till she's no more capable of magic than anyone else. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. Good. Hasn't she earned a life without the burden of that responsibility? Unfortunately not. That's why I sent Matt Martigan in search. The whereabouts of the Chimerian cure us. We've heard nothing since. Dang. Oh, no. I'm afraid I've sent him to his death. Possibly. Keep Mads from coming back to you. Only delay him a bit. It's true. Mm. Rizal is gone. Shalindria too. How? Okay, but how? I'm high I guess how doesn't really matter because what said I would. everyone dies. Great sorcerer. Yeah. Let Willow do it. You are great. You're not a great sorcerer. Hey. And you never will be. What? Whoa. Come on, girl. What's Shade. This? But granted, her mom was, you know, an incredibly powerful Willow. sorceress. She's like, bye, bitch. Fine. She just hasn't seen what he's been capable of doing recently. He's been training the whole time. They gave him the book of magic. Follow me. So the village seems like it's been decimated, but yeah, oh, okay. they just moved it. That makes sense. So made like any wandering people come, they're yeah. like, oh, and, and then just on. move on. Yeah. Look at the mushrooms glowing. Are we going to see his family again? I hope so. Oh. It's okay. It's in Ordana. Oh shit, it's Mims. Mims. It is a Lord Diamond. <laughs> yeah, they could tell. This is my daughter, Mims. It's really Mims. nice to meet you. You met once. You don't remember me, do you? Even if she could, she was a baby. I was the one who found you. It's true. Me and my mother ran in. Ran in. It was the best thing I've ever done. Oh, that look, dude. Ran in's dead. We don't know that. Maybe he went off somewhere. Possible. On an adventure. You're beautiful. Aww. You're both Aww. beautiful. Calm down. Of course they want to talk to her. Right. 
This is what I wanted. I want to be back with the Nelwins. Like, I needed this. I don't know what they're doing to him or how much time he has. And it's just, I'm just not That's really going to learn about Nelwin culture right now. You should, though. It's going to help you along the way. Nelwin culture save their lives. Yeah. Help them get into Beth Morta's castle. <laughs> the high old man, look at him. <laughs> not that heavy. <laughs> We Nelwyn have seen our share of woe, sacrificed, grieved, toiled, and that's just on the weekend. Didn't land. Crickets. I know. <laughs> Elora Dannon has come home. Yay! You're here for Elora Dannon. What this all means. Yes. And looking Please. to me, your high old win for answers. You don't know, really know, do you? You fake it till you make it, just like the original high old win. And you go whisper. Yeah. Forget the birds. Just follow yeah. the river. Like, it just doesn't work out always the way we'll consult the bones. you want it to. Yes, consult the bones. They won't tell him nothing, nope. but that's okay. Yeah. Unless they do. We'll see. <laughs> like, it's ceremonial. It's a show. But in reality, the right. real magic's from within. But she's like, it tells me nothing. There is a balance between all things. And just when we were starting to lose hope, the child of the prophecy returns by uniting the world against the enemy in the Grey War to come. Doesn't really know how, but he knows what the story is. Once Elora here completes her training. Roughly how long do you think that will take? Oof, yeah. Not long, depending on uh, how much she already knows. Nothing. How naturally the magic flows out of her, which I imagine will be pretty naturally considering uh, She's the one. Eventually. <laughs> Eventually. Not right now. Right. And probably not for a while. She's Neo, Finger the one. Test. Pick your own hand. Don't do it. <laughs> He's trying to tell her yours. Yours. She's going to pick a finger just like you, Willow. I got it wrong the first time, remember? And look at me now. It's true. Oh. I mean, to be fair, he wanted to pick his own. Yeah, his first instinct was to pick his own. Yes. Well, Laura Dannon just went for it. Yes. The child has revealed herself. Oh. Who's Ooh. controlling you? Who's talking to you? She, she was quite upset. Oh, damn. She She's knows it's Laura, to too. Oh, yeah. She must have known her. You should have been keeping a really close eye on her, especially during yeah. a skirmish and an infiltration like that. It's just a scratch. Just but the scratch. <laughs> Just a flesh wound. Just a flesh wound. <laughs> Capricious kitchen, right? Eh? I need you to bring her home. Oh no, but he's got the injury that's festering. Yeah, it's not good. It's probably gonna. What turn if, him. like, because the barrier is protecting him, he can't go a little through. bit. But if he goes through, it will spread quicker. <gasps> it's taking him over. Not good. Dang, yeah, he's a. He's an extension of the lich. Now you can't use magic to make food. I did it once, I was in the toilet for a week. <laughs> knock my bad lands. Nobody goes through knock my. Yeah, you don't want to go anywhere near the castle. It's cursed. That's a scary place to go to. Now I want to go there. Let's go. Yeah. It'll be a long, arduous journey. One you've no doubt made before. Well, no. So no, he only went from there to the knock my castle. But I did it all, and I'd do it all again to save Eric. Not take wizard classes from you. <sighs> I'm going with them. You gotta go, too, to protect her. Yeah. Get some daddy-daughter time. Yeah. She was the most serene baby. She's not a baby no more. They all grew up. Yep. What happened to that, Elora? You hid her away. Well, you didn't, but... She should never have come here. But he did. Yeah, destiny led her. Well, haven't you told me, doll? Are you kidding? What was that? I made a promise to our people. And this is how you honor it. Not by hiding from what you know is coming. <gasps> he has the wand. He'll give her this. Oh. <laughs> See, when they keep using the music like a tag, I'm good. <laughs> You're like, okay. But if they get into it, we're going to be in trouble. Yeah, maybe you have one too. Maybe you're Laura Dannon. 
Maybe I'm a Loradana. We're all a Loradana. Yes. Where is she? Laura? We thought she was with you. This right here is why no one's allowed above ground. You're also being awfully cavalier with the fate of the world, princess. Damn right. I like pissed off Willow. Yes. Because it shows like the that growth and maturity for him, you know? Yeah. And granted, Willow got pissed off a lot back in the day, especially with That's Mad true. Mardigan. <laughs> That's true. You don't give a baby black root. I'm a father of two children. <laughs> like, he gets scoldy. And the last thing she's got to want is a hairy chest. Our black root. Dad, Dad, okay. Is that his home? We've never been apart. Oh. Dad, it's a baby. Good. The safety of this child depends upon you. Memories. I remember. Remember? Whew. They get me with those old scenes. Though. There you go. I love it when she's like, I miss you already. Sure, yeah. Kaya and his relationship and the kids, like, it was just said, like, something worth saving. Right. So like, when he came back, it was real hard, you know, fulfilling and breaking at the same yeah. time. So is it just his daughter then? It's looking like it, right? What if I can't save him? You just have to believe. Believe the words you're saying. Yeah, yeah. You need that confidence. I need you. She trusts you, remember? Your mission isn't over, Willow. And trust in my decisions, even if you don't agree with them. I will. Everyone else won't, though. That makes me I so sad. Me yeah, because she's by herself, and you don't know Willow's coming back. Yeah. My hero. You don't make me cry. I'm on a perilous quest. <laughs> it's all it would take for you to say that. I'd have done Aww. it a long time ago. <laughs> 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 I am kind of sad that uh, none of the other no ones were characters. Yeah, I gotcha. Part. Yeah. Like they were just kind of there. Right. And you like, had Burgle Cut. Van Carr. Yeah, Van Carr. Migosh. Yeah. Catch up. <laughs> Burgle Cut. That's a funny name. <laughs> What's gotten into you, Commander? Do you really want to know? Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, oh, damn it. Kill him! Kill him! You're not gonna show us? <laughs> I wanted to see him be badass. I hope we get to see it eventually. I'm sure we will. It's a little just, taste. Instead of just tackling somebody and then cutting away. Just so happens we're all going on the same road, so I, I dupe them into thinking I'm with them. The truth is I'm with you. Yeah, I get the gist. Ah, that's the way I'm going. <laughs> I'll take you to the river, that's it. <laughs> Chimerian cuirass? Yeah, the cuirass. The legendary armor. Yeah, I know what it is. No, he spent five years searching the world for it. I know, because I was with him. I was his squire. Wow. Yeah. What, you're telling me you know what happened to him? Oh, yeah. He found it. And? And? I love how, like, even though we don't have uh, Val Kilmer here right now, right. like, it's very possible. That'd be cool if we get him. But... He's still a part of the story. Correct. And I love that. The rocking back and forward of the wagon is making me a touch crazy. And you've already had a lot of rockiness when you were a kid. Mess up your elite equilibrium. Because that baby got jostled. Communed with animals? You commune with animals? No. Do you? No. no. You're a princess, so it's kind of the given. <laughs> <laughs> Our job is to set it free. Oh, oh come on. Once again, Alora Dannon just throwing up on people. <laughs> oh <laughs> yes, Burgle cut. But that was right in the face. Yeah. All living things. The bloodstream of the universe. Midichlorians. Magic is the art of transforming that energy from one form to another. Maybe that's how they'll get Mad Mardigan around. He can transfer his energy to somebody else. Maybe. That'd be just my hopefulness of keeping the the actor the character. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. We can't have the actor only if Alcuin. I mean, Kilmer we're gonna get cool Christian Slater, and they said that he has like yeah. They're kind of secretive about Christian Slater's role. Yeah, so we'll see. Tortha es Brokmora Huatha. What's all the hands? Hey, let her do the hands, dude. Because if that's just naturally what comes to her, it might help. Tuatha es Brokmora. Oh, is he is gonna be a sorcerer too? That'd be cool. He's learning, right? Yeah. Is he writing it down? Yeah, well, he's like wording it as well. Be a human being. 
This is really quite a simple spell. <laughs> now, Hoatha, like you're hoeing the garden. Hoatha. 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 You gotta think about it. The difficulty of the words is real. I want you to keep practicing, saying the words in sets of three till you get it right. And after a few weeks' practice, we'll all be having Eckleberry Jam for breakfast. A few weeks? How long until she starts shooting lightning bolts out of her fingertips? She has to master the forms of sorcery. Charms, potions, concentration, and divination. Thanks, Professor Flitwick. <laughs> yes! Can I use this? No. Careful. Give that back. What? Tell her what it is first. I mean, I thought he said you couldn't make food, and a berry to make jam is technically food. Last time I saw you, your hair was red. Prue rubs lemon juice and beetle blood in it to change the color. You were just talking to me about her hair. Yeah, I was like, wasn't her hair Off like camera. red? Off <laughs> camera. I get it, gotta blend in, change your hair color. Wait, 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 come back. What's happening? Uh-oh. What did you say to her? Nothing. What are you doing, Sorsha? Do your old disappearing pig trick? She's as much mine as she is yours. Oh no. From now on, I protect my people. I don't care what happens to you or her. Oh. Sorsha, come on. This is heartbreaking. <laughs> like you hid away Alora Dannon and now it's screwing you over. Now I don't care your son got taken. I do because of Mad Mart again, but. Go to sleep, Willow. I didn't even realize he went with them. <laughs> I didn't even realize that until now, too, yeah. Move along. Nothing to see here. Goodbye. So I assume he has a way to contaminate other people and make them husks. Yeah. For the lish. Probably. We're looking for a girl who was traveling with the princess. Queen Sorcia sent us to bring her home. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm the commander of the Packlecade. We want to help them. It's hard to not trust him, though. Back to Tyr's lean. Send him back. too dangerous. You wouldn't lie to us, would you? Pack. Oh, Dick. those are some fighting words. Wagon Stupid Daikini. Less than a day old. Uh-oh. Put up a fight, everybody. Okay. All right. Move along. Mount up. Okay. Woo. Okay. I would have had a heart attack if they did something to her. <laughs> My name's not Laura. What is it? It's Brunhilda. Oof. Mm. Did he? Yeah. Nah. <laughs> and when I wasn't getting teased, I worked in the kitchens. Sorsha, you gave her a crappy life. She should have been protected and trained. Yeah. You have to focus. That's how you get someone to run away from you, Willow. Yeah. All I know is what I can see. And so far, I haven't seen any magic. It's very Han Solo of you. I love the purple and green. Yeah. I'm really good with that kind of stuff. Languages, arcana, so. There you go. If you ever needed any help. Yeah. I also Came don't up. trust him still, though. That's true. I'm worried but, about I his But, I mean, kingdom. it's more so his the, the king, yeah. In in the end, I think he would go against his father because of what he ended up saying to Kit. Right. About not having to do what her, your parents are wanting you to. Yeah. Or rule the way they do. Right. The truth is, I'm not special. No, but he's special. You seem to be the one person who can't see how extraordinary you are. <laughs> there you go. Anyway, sorry. I'll, I'll you need that kind of pep talk, though. True, you know? true, true. Willow needed that kind of pep talk. See, he's more creative and a dreamer than, you know, the brute strength and the force that the others show. Right. The sunray. The rainbow That's coming across her from the lens. I can't believe I'm the one to say this. You have to be patient. You don't understand. It's too late. She was at Laura Dunham once. She isn't anymore. Well, that's not true, though. In my vision. I wake up on a battlefield. Yeah. Look at him. Yeah. He looks like Luke Skywalker <laughs> in Last Jedi. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, no. Till I find her. Find who? The Lord Dana, she got her red hair. No matter how many times I tried to change her fate for our world to survive, Laura Dannon has to die. 
No. Are you sure? I mean, I'm kind of confused how he comes to that resolution. Has he had multiple visions? How does he change the fate? I don't know. Ooh. Sorry. Nice reflex. That was instinctual. Did you tell me what happened to my father? Yes, I would like to know. Inquiring minds would like to know as well. That could not have been comfortable. You're gonna get stiff neck. It's okay. It's all right to be frustrated. Even Willow couldn't do it without the wand. Oh shit. No! Dang it! Is it gonna sprout and then it's the end of the, the episode? Yeah, there it is. Damn. <laughs> she is powerful. Yes. And she didn't even need the wand. Wow. With the berries. Yeah. She's got the power. So I love that we got to go back to the no one village. I love that they're living underground. It was very fantasy like uh, and just getting the very tender, heartbreaking moments with Willow and Mims, because, I mean, that was something that was it gave us that heartfelt connection with Willow and his family was the relationship between him, his kids and Kaya. Um, question uh, is that his daughter in real life? I'm assuming. I, I, I'm not sure, but I, I thought want, I heard she was going to be in it. Okay, because she definitely looks like him sure. a lot. I'm like, mm, I feel like that's his daughter. <laughs> so yeah, looking here at the credits, it is his daughter, uh, Annabelle Davis. So that's awesome. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. I Which love makes that. it even more like paralleling when like, or like sad when... They had to say goodbye and he's going on this adventure again. Yeah. But, you know, the world needs Willow uh, to help them in this fight. Like you said, Alora Dana needs Willow uh, to help her um, in this fight. And I love how, like, in the credits before, in the in the first episode, they called her Dove. But now they do have her credit as Alora Dana. And so uh, that's kind of cool. And, yeah. And, um <sighs> And she got captured. She got captured. But that's okay because she got captured before. Yeah. We and Will her. and we rescued her. <laughs> and Willow was able to rescue her and like be able to do that. So it's okay. We'll we'll get her back. And I love love that we're going on this adventure once again with a, a crew with a group of people i love that he's got his friend with him silas uh i don't like that there really wasn't any character other than silas and mims in the nelwyn village because that's something that i did enjoy about the original because you had the high aldwin of course you had burgle cut you had migas you had von Kar. to be fair though we did spend more time with them in willow than we do here. So I can understand like them not wanting to have like all the, cause we just have like that brief moment. And then now they're on that adventure with Willow. You think about it, it's 40 minutes long. We probably had the same amount of time with them in the movie as we did in this episode. Yeah. I feel like we spent more time with them because they, they go more. on the adventure, all of them. And it doesn't have to be a me gosh. It could be something else. So Silas, I'm riding on Silas because <laughs> Silas is with him. Silas was a jokester when they first showed up, you know, saying, Oh, I'm Willow. Step off. I don't. I retired. Step off. So I'm hoping that he he gets more time to shine as well as Warwick Davis, uh, because Mims Maybe. killed it already. And yeah, Valentine coming for them. I'm worried. I'm definitely worried, and it's heartbreaking because you know this guy would put his life on the line for a Lord Danon and the kingdom in any to protect moment. Them, yeah. But he is under the control and the spell of whatever this darkness is. Hopefully, Alora can just like look into his eyes, and then he's like, wake him up, and like. Oh, I'm going to yeah. help you instead. Cause yeah. you know, like how she was when she was a baby, but uh, it looks like, you know, slowly she's getting her powers yeah. and uh, I'm looking forward to it. I mean, the way th um, that the story's going, it's, interesting like i want to know more sure i want to see what what that vision is that willow has what's going on yeah. who are these uh the gales like who why are why did they take eric like, like the four so horsemen you know four yeah. horsemen of the apocalypse that's true they are kind of like that huh and i'm i'm curious to see again how his visions are making him come to that conclusion that a Laura Dannon needs to die. Maybe in your vision you saw a Laura Dannon die. 
by that, did you see if the vision was success successful? Did you see a vision on that you guys were successful at all? So is all this just leading in your mind to our doom no matter what? Did you see an ending where she's dead but yet everything else is okay? Like, I need to know more about how your visions are working, Willow. So, because it's just like, I'm confused a little bit how, how we came to that conclusion, but right. I understand the whole dread at the end of the journey type Harry Potter did the same thing uh and i love that we're getting flashbacks but i don't like what's in the flashbacks not saying i don't like them from like a uh, crit critique standpoint my heart doesn't like it because it breaks my heart to see Sorsha doing this, ousting Willow, him getting angry and leaving and not training Alora Dan. Are you kidding me? She could have been your protector. You should have trained her. But again, at the same other side of the coin, I understand why she would try and dampen it and protect it. Maybe if we just don't talk about magic, then none of the magic will happen. So but I understand he, why she's afraid. Right. And I understand like maybe that's the reason why she didn't do it. So that way she would be kind of hidden yeah. in a way like uh like a like a sorcery block on her yeah. whereas when they found out that she is a lauren dan and you saw the mark then you saw one of the gales was like oh the child has returned like yeah. she's risen so like they felt her presence that the force has awakened <laughs> yeah pretty much there's similarities it, it's lucas you know, it, it, it awakened yeah the force has awakened. <laughs> sure. I and I gotta say it and I, I hate I, I kinda don't like saying it, but I am seeing some similarities just in creative connection with this and the sequel trilogy so with the ray i'm a nobody and now all of a sudden she's a somebody willow being kind of disconnected yeah but and it's a little and... bit different because in a way because we already know she's a lord dan true and, and she can do these things but if i see willow at some point take that wand and chuck it over his shoulder i'm gonna be pissed so <laughs> either way i'm excited i, I love this show i already. mean I he already was like we need to go back we I can't know. be on i know this. i know i I'm aware of the things he's saying. And uh, now I think we're going to come like kind of like with uh, Tony Revolori, Revolori Flash uh, for his character. We can see like, oh, he's going to go through some growth and he's going to be a very powerful ally in the end, even though he started out weak. We see the grumpiness. We see how everyone's acting, but we know they're not going to end up there in the end. We're going to see some form of growth. They had to start out this way so we can learn and get somewhere else in the end. Right. So I may not like how certain characters are acting now, but I'm going to be fine once they realize why they're in this fight. And it's to protect the kingdom from the darkness, as always. So what did you think of episode two of Willow? Let us know in the comments below. You can also like and subscribe. And did a thing on our Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Discord. All the social networking gin joints, you know where they are. Kick into the party. Fuel the party. Keep the party going on our Patreon. Gets you the full episode watch along to each episode of Willow, as well as all the other movie reactions we do, TV shows. But thank you so much. And as always. Now it's time to say goodbye. And this party is over. Bye. Bye.